Oh, look at there's the key. Oh my god. Hello guys, my name is Nilarama and welcome back to Outlast. In the last episode, we dropped our camera that really sucked and got jump scared a bunch and now we got the camera back and we got to go find Father Martin. That part of the game, that little short episode, I feel honestly was the best part of the game so far. It was unexpected and it was not annoying to play. Oh. Oh yeah, and our camera glitches now, which is fun because it scares me every single time. Okay, so I can't go through there. Oh shit. Okay. Am I supposed to go down? I I'm just gonna assume so because I don't, I don't really see any other way up here. This room is pointless. Oh shit, okay. I gotta run. Ooh. Oh. Hey. Don't jump. Only one way out. Only one way. Okay. Nice. I was gonna say lips, but nice lip. Singular. Don't you run after me. How do you know you're not a patient? Um, because I drove here. Unless that was a psychotic delusion. Okay. Just a shimmying on through there. His hand. Like, cover that, cover that up. I wonder if you would bleed out if you didn't seek medical attention from getting two of your fingers cut off. Okay. So, ah, oh, this this is lit up. I like this room. Battery? Is this just a pointless room? I think it is. Oh. Oh, am I supposed to come in here to go around? Oh, fuck. Aw, oh, fuck. I fucked myself. Hey, big boy. Oh, fucking shit. Shut the shit. Oh, my God. Fucker. Oh, vent, 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 vent. Did I just see someone down? Oh, God. Saw, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna reload a battery. That might make a good thumbnail. Okay, if I don't find anything good, I'll definitely make that a thumbnail. Okay. To interact. Sorry, dude. Oh, I'm back here. It's so. Ugh. He's got like a turkey neck. Okay, so I can open this. In the theater. Okay, thank you. That's that's I'm done listening. Oh, uh, he, he lied. I guess I should listen. Wherever there's electrical equipment near, there's usually a battery, like a camera or a radio. I've noticed that. Am I just okay? So this is a document. Wrong one. Okay, so that was just about Pro Project Wallrider. Uh, Dr. Wernicke was a Nazi scientist, and Project Wallrider, apparently it can cause people to be able to regenerate, and then it said cancer... I think cancer... Oh, cancer regeneration or something? Um, but it regenerates something, so they wanted to send it to uh, pretty much Hitler. So, Project Paperclip recruited Dr. Wernicke from Nazi Germany after the end of the end of the war. And now he's here, I'm assuming. But what is the morphogenic engine? And who the hell is the ghost that keeps following me? Can I hide under you? 
That'd be nice if we could have hit under there. Okay, but I am going the right way. This was the rec room. Oh, fuck, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, from the rec hall. That's nice because this is the rec room. At least it looks like it. Okay. I mean, it looks like shit, to be honest. Perfectly frank. Okay. So I cannot open this door, so where am I supposed to go? Okay. Do I got a... a ladder? Yeah, see? Whenever I don't know where to go, it's because I'm missing something. And there's gonna be a jump scare. Hello, dude. This is not the right place to go. Or is it? It's not. It actually isn't. Okay, go up here. I'm glad I got that battery. To replace the one that I probably wasted. Okay, so shimmy shimmy. Hello, shimmy. I would not like doing this. I, I have, like, terrible balance. So I would fall repeatedly. I would probably die from getting a concussion from falling so much than I would from getting, like, mutilated by, like, naked twins. Okay, so I can't open that. So I can't go back up there because I can't reach that. So that's always wonderful. When I'm trapped, set you up for a good scare. I do appreciate how well lit this area is. What I don't appreciate is the wide array of closets they're giving me. Well, lockers. You know what we do with lockers. We had like a little bitch in them. Closet strat OP. Okay. Any, any goodies? Nope, okay. I don't like what I'm seeing. Okay, yeah, just jump straight in, boy. Okay. Um, what am I doing in here? From the, the rec hall? Okay, so this looks like... Um, a theater? But there's dead people here. And... People just don't die. Like, young people like this. Just don't die. So, wh whoever caused this is... Probably still around. Look at that. Maybe do a little... Bless me. Whoever's watching, bless me. Maybe do a little... <gasps> oh! Exit interview recorded December 27th, 1985 in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Clearance Sierra Alpha. Subject, Dr. Rudolph Wernicke, 14866. The films are real. Uh, there was no alteration to the footage at all? No trickery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors. Oh. Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand the things we felt, what we believed. The overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and English birds are insufficient. More than hope. The human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed... The proximity to death. Overwhelming madness. Uh, I was about to say that. Who had witnessed the horror was capable of activating the engine. Do you believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? No. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was a gateway. A gateway to what? The unknown. Okay. So I'm going to read that note. Um, yeah, so I was going to say, the reason it didn't work in the United States is because they tried it with either A, insane, not insane, they tried it with sane people, and it didn't work. Or they tried it 
in an environment that wasn't filled with insanity like Nazi Germany was during those times. Because being in that kind of conditions would make you go insane. So that's why they wanted to put it in an asylum, because this place is near insanity and has insane people, like, on the ready. Yeah. Okay. Cannot go in there. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Okay. I don't like the way this looks. Oh, is this the projection room? Oh, look at there's the key. Oh my god. Okay, do I use a vent? I'm just assuming. Um Can you leave? Okay, so there's a door open right there. Was it not open before? I don't like the look of that. To be 100% honest. Okay. So... I'm not going to keep this on because it's wasting battery. My precious battery. Am I going to have to go through the window? That'd be some shit. I wouldn't do that in real life. I'd be like, no thanks, I'm going over the railing. Well, actually, in real life, I wouldn't have gotten this far. Like, probably in terms of, like, survival, but, like, after... After seeing... Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I'd be like, no, thank you. So... Yeah, after seeing, like, the blood, I'd be like, that's enough. And, like, the insane people walking around, I'd be like, this is against regulation. Like, this is enough. The third floor... I don't really know where I'm supposed to go, but I think then that means this is a good place to end this episode. Um, if you liked what you saw, remember to subscribe and uh, put a like if, you know, you actually liked it. Uh, comment down below uh, what you think the connection between the Morphogenic Engine and the Wall Rider actually is. And until then, see you later.